you probably know that our planet is tilted over. But perhaps you didn't know that you can measure that tilt yourself using your own shadow. So here's how you do it. First of all, you need to measure your height, so you might need a friend to help you do that. And then, at the moment, the sun is highest in the sky at one o'clock British summer time on the solstice. Find a nice flat piece of ground and measure the length of your shadow. So now it's time for the calculations and I'm going to use the calculator on my phone. If I turn it sideways, it turns into a scientific calculator, which I'm going to need. Now, the first thing to do is to divide the length of my shadow by my height. And now what I need to do is take the inverse tan of this number. And that just means pressing the shift key and the tan button. And now I've got the answer 27.8. And what this is, is the number of degrees between the direction of the sun and straight up. So it's called the solar zenith angle. There's just one more thing you need, and that's your latitude. Your latitude is just the number of degrees north or south of the equator that you are. And you can find that really easily, either using a GPS unit, or there are loads of websites where you can look it up using your postcode. The final step is to take your latitude and subtract the solar zenith angle from it. And the answer is the tilt of the Earth. Here, the latitude's 50 degrees, and my solar zenith angle was 28 degrees. So if I take one away from the other, that gives me an answer for the tilt of the Earth of 22 degrees. Now that's not quite right, because it's still a few days before the summer solstice. But if you do this on the solstice and make your measurements carefully, you should come out with the answer of 23.4 degrees for the tilt of the Earth.